Texas senators will take on a constitutional duty that few senators in the state's history have faced before acting as jurors in a court of impeachment. Suspended Attorney General Ken Paxton will be the first statewide elected official in a century to face an impeachment trial with a host of allegations in which he denies all wrongdoing. Our Capitol correspondent Monica Madden details the 20 articles of impeachment. We will not tolerate corruption, bribery, abuse of office, retaliation. And At the end of May, the Republican-led Texas House made history in an overwhelming vote to impeach Republican Attorney General Ken Paxton. And either this is going to be the beginning of the end of his criminal reign, or God help us with the harms that will come to all Texans if he is allowed to stay the top cop. Now the Senate is tasked with the responsibility of equal gravity after a summer of attorneys making their case to the public. Ken Paxton will never, never be convicted by the Senate. Not on this evidence, not with this record, and not when the fact is the allegations are completely untrue. And I'll promise you it's 10 times worse than has been public and that is your thing. Paxton denies any and all wrongdoing. Senators will have to decide if there's enough proof Paxton committed impeachable offenses and if it's enough to remove him from office. The allegations are relatively comprehensive allegations that he abused the authority of his office mostly to help a particular donor but also to avoid some scrutiny himself. Trial law experts like Mike Golden note, at the center of most of the accusations is a man named Nate Paul, a campaign donor and friend of Paxton's. The articles claim Paxton went to great lengths to help Paul, accepting bribes, misappropriating public resources, and conspiring to conceal his relationship with Paul and a woman Paxton allegedly had an affair with. Many of the accusations come from former top officials in the AG's office. I think the most serious allegations are the ones that, that relate to the claim that Paxton attempted to interfere with ongoing criminal investigations into a, a donor and friend. If the evidence convinces the senators that the FBI was investigating Nate Paul and that Paxton used the powers of his office and taxpayer dollars to interfere with that investigation, I think that's going to be the, the most uh, important allegations to the senators. Monica Madden, KXAN News. Now, senators will only be voting on 16 of the 20 articles he was impeached on in the House. There are four articles related to Paxton's 2015 securities fraud indictment, which are being handled separately in the criminal court system, which is why they're left out for now.